we've been talking about sowing seeds to the flesh or sowing seeds to the spirit and uh, we said that sowing seeds to the spirit is when we set our minds on the things above Paul warned us in Philippians chapter 3 that there are those who uh, set their minds on earthly things and they're concerned about earthly things earthly desires but in order to sow seeds to the spirit uh, Paul says our citizenship is in heaven from which we eagerly wait for a savior the Lord Jesus Christ uh, you know, to eagerly wait for His coming helps us keep our mind stayed where it needs to be uh, on the things of the Lord and to be anxiously looking for His coming. Uh, this week has been an interesting week for, for me, for us, really. Teresa traveled to North Carolina to be with Katie and David and John David and Claire. And so we've been apart for a few days. And as my son Cameron says, when we're apart, we're just pitiful. Because we uh, certainly we've been married 31 years, and she's become a part of my life in such a special way. But you know, I am anxiously waiting to go to North Carolina to see my wife. I'll be flying up there later this week, and as I was thinking about how I long to see my wife, I want to be able to talk in the same way and think in the same way about seeing Jesus. You know, we anxiously wait for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming back. And our attitude, attitude should be the same as we're, when we're apart from someone that we love. They're, we are eager to see them. We're eagerly looking forward to their return so that we can have the fellowship that we, we desire. So I pray that this week that you will be looking forward to the coming of Christ, that you'll keep your mind on the things above and uh, be living in such a way that when Christ returns, it will be a joyous reunion. God bless you and have a wonderful week.